good morning everyone how about a flight back to bangkok yeah you ready let's go to get here i went on the night train but this time i thought we'd fly because actually there wasn't much in the price at all and it only takes about 30 minutes something like that so a quick flight back to bangkok and then meeting back up with sinead again i'm at chiang mai domestic airport and i thought that I would freeze my bottle of water to come through on the domestic flight because on AirAsia's website it says frozen water is good to take through screening. I've just brought a bottle of frozen water through screening and it's a no-go. You're not allowed it. So whatever they say on their website, it's not true because I've just had mine taken off me. <laughs> so after I landed back in Bangkok, rather than getting a grab to my accommodation, the bunk bed hostel, I decided to take the train, which is a lot cheaper and much faster. The weather was absolutely pitiful. It really was. It bucketed down. When I first arrived at bunk bed hostel, my imp first impressions were not the best but it was really nice it had a little kitchen that we could use and a fridge and although the weather wasn't the best the beds were really comfortable this is my new dormitory in bangkok and i make this one which is 204. and they've got quite nice lockers as well After the rain eventually stopped, I decided to go for a little wander. Even though Bangkok is absolutely crazy with the traffic, there are so many beautiful little areas and parks. And yeah, I just had a really nice time seeing another area of Bangkok. I'm going to add some clips here for you just so that you can have a look and see what it was that I was seeing as I was walking around. We walked all the way down to a market area as well, which was really nice. And we went to go and have a look at some of the different foods, which some you could recognize and others we just didn't have a clue. It would almost be nice to have a little guide or a foodie person to come round with us and explain to us what all these new and exciting things are along in the market. And I'm not sure that we will ever find it again, but we found the most amazing little coffee shop. I'm going to put little clips as I'm talking in with it. It was just, the coffee was amazing and it was down this tiny little alleyway. And as I say, I don't think we'll ever find it again. The trains are by far the most sensible way to get around Bangkok. They really are. Hey, 
ีขายเจ้าของคุณเฮียฉันกำลังจะเดินทางไปเจอกับแท็กซี่ทางการเงินแห่งแบงกอกในช่วงเวลาที่น่ากลัวที่สุดของฉันแม้แต่ที่น่ากลัวที่สุดของฉันฉันกำลังจะเดินทางไปเจอกับแท็กซี่ทางการเงินแห่งแบงกอกในช่วงเวลาที่น่ากลัวที่สุดของฉันฉันกำลังจะเดินทางไปเจอกับแท็กซี่ทางการเงินแห่งแบงกอกในช่วงเวลาที่น่ากลัว Was right near the um, MRT uh, train station, so you could get around, and there was a lot more choice for different foods. On the last day before I left, I did find this really nice little restaurant right at the end of the road, which was lovely. Um, but yeah, I think if I go back, I don't think I will stay in that same area again. I think I will just go maybe about. Two kilometers further down the road, and because I'm walking a lot, I think it would be easier because it was right on the train station as well. Look at that face; it looks amazing. After all this time staying here at the end of my road, right near the 7-Eleven, I found a local restaurant that does food for 50 baht, and this is passion fruit juice as well. My last dinner in Thailand before I go off to Cambodia tomorrow. I hope you can hear me all right, but somebody's having a shower in the room next door, so it's really noisy now. But I just wanted to say that we had a lovely few days in Bangkok, and s h i n e d and I then decided that we were going to travel on to Cambodia together. Before I arrived, I'd heard really mixed reviews on it, and I wasn't quite sure whether I was going to enjoy it. But future me, this me, can say that I absolutely love it. So I will see you in Cambodia.